Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to be installing a Cusco strap brace in my car. This is a second hand strap brace, so first of all, I'm going to sand down the old paint and there's some areas of rust, so I'm going to use some sanding paper and a Dremel to clean up the rust so I can give it a new coat of paint. So here I am using the Dremel. You can see that there's a little bit of rust that's built up around the edge and uh, certain areas so I'm just using a Dremel with a sanding bit to sand down the rust so I can then paint it. So there you can see you're just working away with all of the rusty bits prepping for paint. So then I use brake cleaner to clean down the surfaces to get rid of all the sanding dust and then I went to Halfords and I found the Skoda Race Blue was the closest match to the original colour which is the Cusco Blue colour um, so I've just started to paint it so I'm not doing a fancy job I'm just giving them like two or three coats of paint just so they're well covered and they look fairly new so there you can see just painting both sides so now they've been painted and they've dried I'm going to be installing the strut brace in the car so that's the main bar which is the main and then there's the two supports which sit on top of each strut tower so first thing you're going to have to do is remove the two nuts that are holding your suspension in the front of your vehicle so you're going to undo both those nuts and remove them as i'm doing here so you can use a socket wrench or even a spanner um, especially if you have like an angled uh, neck spanner, like a deep spanner, that will help to get to the nuts as well. So then I'll just remove the two nuts on this side, and then I'm going to remove the two nuts on the other side as well. And then I'm going to take the bracket, and I'm going to put it in position, so they'll actually sit, there's holes there, so they'll sit on top of the studs which are coming through the suspension. like so. So there you can see the studs are coming through and then I'm going to reapply the nuts on top of this and then I'm going to tighten them down to spec. You want to make sure that you get them on the right way round. Um, if you, you can put them on the wrong side so you can put the right hand one on the left hand, the left hand one on the right hand. You just want to make sure you get them the right way around otherwise you won't be able to put the bar in. So there I'm just tightening down the nuts onto the studs for the suspension and here I've had to use an offset spanner to get to that back nut I'm just tightening it down as much as I can and that's installed so there we go I've done the other side as well and I've attached the brake stopper this helps to stop the brake cylinder from moving under heavy braking and now we're going to install the bar. So the bar will just sit across these two areas with the allen bolt and nut holding it in place. So then I'm just showing you where it goes. So then all you have to do is just put in the allen bolt. So line up the holes, push the allen bolt through and secure the nut on the other side. So I just use an allen key and I just use the wrench to secure the nut on the other side. And once it's all tightened down, it'll look like this. And it's going to help with your steering and tighten up the suspension. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. Um, please leave some comments in down below and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.